Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers, today I'll show modeling of the central part or the main part of the quadrilateral using SolidWorks. Let us start modeling from the top plane, normal to. Initially you have to draw one square, let us point a square, green check. From relations, we can make the length and breadth equals. This is equal. By the same time, we want to make these things for construction only. And let us provide smart dimension to this one as 250 millimeter. Next to that, inside we have to make one square again. And we can put a smart dimension to this one as 75 millimeter. At the extreme right corner, we can provide one circle of diameter 80 millimeter. Initially, you can draw one diameter, which will be touching the vertical and horizontal lines next to that we can provide smart dimension to this one as 80 millimeter and the lines which are outside that should be touching this vertical and horizontal lines let us make a relation it is tangent to the lines and we want to make this circle as a construction line let us select the line and make this one for construction only done next one at this location we have to make some arcs let us provide some arcs at these two locations and we can provide a smart dimension to this one as 90 millimeter Next, we can provide circular pattern of these arcs. Let us make a circular pattern of this arc. Four numbers of arcs to be made. Entities to be pattern. Let us select that line. Green check. Done. And here also we have to make some circles with specific dimensions. Let us make this circle with diameter 30 millimeter. Mark dimension we can provide this diameter as 30 millimeter. And here we can make one vertical line with respect to this dotted line. We have to make one vertical line as a center line. Let us find a relation that these two lines are perpendicular to each other so from the relations we are providing that two lines are perpendicular to each other now here from this location at certain distance away we have to make two more circles concentric circles also let us make one circle from here some distance away let us provide smart dimension to this one as 10 millimeter right and the distance in between will make 20 millimeter next inside we have to make another concentric circle of radius let us make the radius with offset entities inside we have to make and the distance in between them will be 25 millimeter let us make this one as 10 millimeters right let us make another circle inside with a diameter of 5 millimeter let us provide smart dimension to this one as 5 millimeter done now we want to make some tangent lines to touch these two circles the exterior circles we can make the tangents from here by taking arc with three points okay. 
we have made one arc now with relations we can make this line this curve will be tangent to both the circles so we can select the line and with the relations we'll make this curve tangent to both the circles this tangent to the big circle now we we'll make it tangent with the smaller circle again so the curve is tangent to both the circles now we can make one mirror image of this one with respect to this line so mirror entities entities to mirror we will select this line and with respect to this line it will be mirror green check it is done next to that we have to make another mirror image on the other side of this straight line so we'll select mirror entities entities to mirror we have to select this lines lines are selected now mirror about select that line mirror is done green check next to that we have to connect these two circles for that we need some straight lines let us make two lines from here to here and again these two lines will be tangent to both the circles so tangent can be drawn with the lines we made two arcs now with the relation we have to make these arcs to be tangent to the lines and the circles also so we have to provide relations this arc will be tangent to the circle and similarly it will be tangent to the other part also select this line this tangent next the line should be tangent to this arc again green check done now this line should be mirror with respect to this line again so mirror entities we can select the lines lines are selected now mirror about select the center line mirror is done green check next to that we have to mix a circular pattern using this sketch surrounding this central part so select circular sketch pattern and we want to have four numbers of patterns let us select that entities to be patterned all the lines are selected green check so the circular pattern is made now our sketch is ready we have to extrude this sketch with a depth of 10 mm let us exit from this sketch select the sketch again and features extrude boss base with a depth of 10 mm extrude pause base it is done instead of doing this way we could make a continuous sketch and that was also possible it is done green check 
next to that you have to provide some sketch on this one let us select that plane and let us go back to the previous sketch and we can have convert entities we can cut the unwanted lines by trim entities green check even this line also needs to be cut everything appears to be okay we can put some round corners at this location let us select that lines and put some kind of fillet select the lines and in between them we want to provide a fillet of radius 10 millimeter crunch check done now this sketch can be extruded to a depth of 10 millimeter features extrude possibles and that can be extruded with merge results to a depth of 10 millimeter done next to that we can provide some kind of dome on the top surface insert features dome let us select the surface continuous dome is required to a depth of 20 millimeter done so this is our central part now bottom of this one we can make another part for the assembly now this is actually our central part of the quad rotor okay now we can provide some color to this one let us provide some steel color metallic and we are providing steel let us provide brushed steel so our main part of the quad rotor is ready this is the central part of the quad rotor for making an assembly the same part should be placed below this one thank you so much for watching this video thank you if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye